Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and this is a, another quick bit video. I was actually digging through a box of old stuff that I had and going through stuff, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of junk that I have accumulated over the past few years uh, in order to kind of clean up my, um, my storage and work areas and whatnot. Anyway, I came across this and this is a, a really, really fond memory that I have. Of <laughs> one of the first things I've ever built and you can see just how far I've come in terms of going from these types of projects to something like this. And basically, uh, this is my stock of PIC 16F 84As, and these are a pretty old processor. And I've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like 13 of these guys. These are all still brand new in the little tubes that they come in. And this is a, uh, it's, well, it's an old microprocessor. Uh, this is actually how I taught myself how to program um, microcontrollers is I, when I was, I think I must have been like a teenager or something, I signed up for the free sample program for microchip, and I asked them to uh, send me some chips, and they, they did, which was very kind of them, seeing as, you know, I wasn't even a college student or anything at the time. And they sent these over, and I, I studied the data sheet, and I basically just, you know, because I wanted to make projects, I taught myself how to program for them. And I had an issue in the early days. I didn't have any programmers, and I, you know, I was, I was a teenager. I didn't really work. I was in school all the time studying and all that. So I didn't have a way to actually program the chips. So I went online, and I found someone... Uh, they had a schematic for a serial programmer that you could build yourself. So I scavenged parts. I think I pulled this from something. I uh, soldered my own ribbon wires to it to the correct pins. Uh, there's a 5-volt regulator. Uh, this has to be powered by a external wall adapter. So like, uh, you know, 6 or 9-volt adapter will do. Uh, there's a linear regulator with a really, really weirdly offset heat sink now that I'm looking at that I can't believe I did that there's like barely any connection there's no thermal paste so basically that heat sink is doing like nothing almost um <laughs> hot glue oh god this is horrible and you can see the soldering is is really bad and more hot glue and uh, I, I I do remember this I uh roughly cut out um the hole and it like started cracking and I just splodged a lot of hot glue on there and I tried using uh uh super glue I think first to glue it, and that didn't work so I had to go in with the hot glue and then the super glue started seeping into the pins and it was it was a train wreck I remember this uh this much and but in the end it actually worked and this worked for quite a while but uh, one thing that I didn't really count for is um, there's only so many times you can insert and remove a chip from these kind of leaf spring sockets so it started getting unreliable towards the end and by that point I'd saved up enough money to buy a pick kit so I bought one of the USB pick kit I think pick it two was the, the one that I first got and that replaced this and I, I threw this in a drawer and I never used it again and just now I just pulled it out first time in I don't know it must be like almost 15 years which is crazy but yeah anyway it was actually really neat at the time because i soldered on two leds the red i believe is power and the uh, yellow here will blink while it's programming and you had to use i i think you had to use a special program or special drivers that will um number one you need a computer with a serial port db9 port and you needed a special driver or a special program i, I remember off the top of my head to uh to actually you know, interface with this into program uh, because it was just essentially bit banging the signals over serial. And I do remember it worked. It was a little finicky getting working, but that was more the bad soldering and whatnot. But yeah, and this, <laughs> I don't even know what this company is. This was a random container that my dad gave me and I put everything in there. So yeah, this was how I learned to uh, to be an electrical engineer, basically. I just one day threw this together and I remember I used to program in notepad. <laughs> this was really sad in notepad. And then I would, um, I, I think I had, I found a free compiler that, uh, 
I had to use the uh, command, like a command prompt in order to actually compile the code that I wrote. And it was really difficult debugging because it was like a really, you know, low level kind of program, the compiler, and it would barely give you like any hints at all. If you have an error, it would just like generally tell you where roughly what line number it was, but it wouldn't give you any more information. And I remember sitting there like banging my head against the computer screen and keyboard trying to like debug my programs and having to like, you know, socket them, and desocket them. It was it was a pain. Uh, but this was, you know, how I learned. So anyway, if you guys are uh, are just beginning, just starting out in, you know, electronics as a hobby. Uh, yeah, this is how I started out. So do not be ashamed if, you know, when you first start out, you don't understand anything uh, or, you know, you don't have a lot of money, so you have to kind of splodge your own parts together to get things to work. But yeah, between uh, something like this versus development hardware that I designed like this, uh, that's a span of about probably 15 years nearly, maybe a little less, maybe like 12 years. So yeah, just keep at it. And the more you learn, the more time progresses, and the more that you learn, the faster it accelerates, I promise you that. Uh, definitely going from something like this to something like this. I never would have thought that would have been possible. But yeah, just keep at it and you'll eventually get there. So anyway, I just want to, to show you guys this really crappy programmer that I put together and just talk about some old memories about how I learned um, some electronics, microcontroller stuff. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, quick bit video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.